All right, boys and girls, we're back some for more trenchless fun. This is Jakob Prupis on this beautiful roof. Look at this view over here today. Unbelievable. Can't get over these views. Who's calling me in the middle? <laughs> okay, we're ready for our, uh, our patch. We're doing something different today. We're gonna be using the Express. That's the Express right over there. We got very minimal working time. The curing time is very quick. But that means the working time is going to go down. Um, it's not really so wintry weather, it's more spring weather. So we definitely got to work quick. My goal is to get it in within uh, a pot, you know, I got to mix it and get it inside and expand within three minutes. I'm working by myself, so it will be a bit difficult. Um, I also cooled down the, uh, I actually cooled down the material uh, last night. So when the material is cooler, uh, it slows down the reaction time. So I should give us, you know, any, any, any extra time, if it's 30 seconds, a minute, it makes a big difference. So let's get started. All right, the way it works, the countdown begins the second that I throw in the part A, that's the hardener, into the part B, which is the silicate. The second it hits, the clock begins. So we gotta work fast. So we gotta get everything ready and uh, pray for the best. All right. One, two, three, and go. Okay. Let's get all the all the edges. Flip it over. To the next part quick as we can. Got all the excess onto right here. That's it. Okay. Now we're gonna get on the mark over here. Okay. We're gonna flip it. Now we're gonna roll it. Okay. I'm gonna throw it inside, just like so. Now, get our rubber bands on. Rubber band number one. Rubber band number two. And rubber band number three. Kind of make sure it doesn't move at all. If it moves, we're in trouble. Okay, good. We're in. I'm gonna throw it down. Get my glove off as quick as we can. Get to there. Expand it. All right, two minutes fifteen, guys. Pretty good time. All right, we're gonna clean up our uh, clean up our tools before it dries, and then uh, we'll come back in around 30, 40 minutes. Yeah, 45 minutes and. Uh, Pull it out and take a look. All right, friends, now that we got the, uh, we passed the time, I was doing other inspections in the meantime. I'm gonna pull out the, 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 the patch. We're gonna take out the pressure, pull out the balloon. And check our repair. So, we're gonna put our balloon on the side here. We're gonna throw our camera inside. Turn that back to zero. Throw her down. Repair is about five and a half, six meters down. Well, it's not a repair. It's actually a cancellation of a line. And I'll show you what that means in a second. Okay, we're looking good here. Excellent, packed out beautifully over there. And to go down a little bit, we want to inspect the patch first always. Here's a connection right there that I covered over. And we're good as golden. All right, so let's explain what happened. The leak specialist told me 5.7 meters down, you're going to have a, uh, a weld uh, that failed. Generally, in, in a HDPE Gibri piping, we're talking about electrofusion. Now, I get to that point, and I see it's a butt weld, not electrofusion. 
and look what the with the uh, with the camera looks pretty good. I said, I don't know about that, you know. So I did uh, I did some testing with the balloon, put the balloon in, fill up with water, and I didn't see any issues. Um, so I got suspicious. I went into the homeowner's house, which is uh, two flights down. They have a basically a, a porch that they covered. Right, so now it's an interior, it used to be exterior, so you had a floor drain. I stick my camera inside and I see from the bottom, someone had literally just like with a jackhammer just opened up the bottom of that pipe. So that's clearly where the issue was over there. So the lick specialist was correct in assessing the general area, but he missed the boat about exactly what the issue was. So because it's interior, not exterior now, the homeowner decided we're just going to uh, put a, a patch inside, close off that drain, Okay, so any water that gets into the main drain will not get into the into his drain, right? What happens in a vertical pipe, some comes into the horizontal. So we, we, we locked that out. So now he's good to go. And that's what we did. <laughs> um, and that's it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like this kind of stuff, subscribe. If you don't like it, just don't, 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 don't subscribe. <laughs> Sometimes can't get the words out. And don't forget to like the video. Have a good day. Hold on, hold on, don't go anywhere. Just when you think you finished, I was doing a last minute check on this pipe and it's time to look a little bit further down. We were debating whether the porch below was gonna close off his as well. And the end, he decided he wasn't gonna do it, but then we found a hole. We found a hole as well, right where we would cancel off his porch. A roll, hole right over there, right opposite, All right? So we got his, uh, we got his porch right over there, as you can see. And then right opposite the porch, bam, we got a hole. So right now it's kind of filled in with some material. It's filled in with some kind of uh, silicone or sika. But uh, this type of pipe, Giberit, HDPE, uh, things don't really stick to it. So even if it's sealing now, you know, we can't give a guarantee that's going to, you know, seal in, uh, you know, a year from now. So he's like, you know, you're here. Just cancel it off, be done with it, and get her done. So round two. All right, we're at round two, and. Uh, Round two is usually, especially since I'm by myself, I can go up and down these steps, no elevator. That's usually when things go south. So, really gotta be on top of our game. Make sure we don't have any mess ups. Cause, uh, ain't nobody got time for that. This is also deeper. This is gonna be nine meters in as opposed to six. So I really gotta make sure we get things right. And, uh, that's it, let's just go, let's do it. One, two, three. Team. Ah, dang, it's a new one, so it's heavy. Over 400. Wipe that bad boy off. Na, na, na. Remember, the clock starts when you introduce when you introduce the uh, part A. So. Gotta start working fast. Once that's in, you gotta, you gotta go. Let's do it. Doing a 40 second mix. All right, that's good. Oh, what just happened there. It moved on us. Okay, this big spatula should help us out good. Let's get here on the bottom. Make sure I don't miss any spots. Okay, flip it over. Go for number two. Throw it all in. In the back, bring it down. Bring it all over here. Very nice. Really get work that in there. Very important to work that in. Get the bottom one. Okay, so we're good here. It's inside, we're gonna now Go like that. Next one. Okay. We're gonna move stuff out of the way. To over here. All right. Start rolling it. Throw that in. Okay. Gonna go for number one. Go for number two. We're going slower than last time, but still should be fine. And number three. 
gonna go for four. Inflate and throw it in. Okay. So take the gloves off. Inflate it just a bit. Good. Throw the guy in as fast as we can. Let's go all the way. And inflate. Okay, we hit 230 now. It's pretty good. Start cleaning our stuff off. That was 230 on that, on the mark. Can't complain. Remember, clean the tools off before. Man, my back's killing me, huh? Clean them tools off. So, that's number two. Hope you enjoyed. This time's for real. And uh, stay tuned for more CIPP how to's and uh, clogs. We got some clogs sometimes. Not always, but sometimes.